Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So, we have something new today. They've been talking about this for a while over in France and Europe. This is the Wyvings Scan Watch. And I also have a band. They give you a discount when you pre-order this, and I did that last week when it finally became available in the US. So let's open these, set it up, and I'll let you know what I think about this awesome device. Yeah, the scan watch. Clinically validated. I'm really excited. Let's open them. All right, here goes nothing. Small little sticker right here at the top. Oh, there's two stickers. And this made a big splash at the CES in Las Vegas. Ooh, nice box design, sleep cycles, yep. Medical grade, SBO2, looking forward to that. Electrocardiogram, not even the infamous Garmin Phoenix can do that. Okay, ooh, nice. Your journey to better health starts now. And then it's in French and German as well. Oh, that is cool. Customize your watch. Okay, very earth-friendly documentation. Wiving scan watch with scan monitor. Recycled paper. Okay, we'll give that a look. I really like the packaging. That is cool. And there's the watch. Nice. Yes, I like that very much. So there's no stickers. There's the monitors on back. Stainless steel, designed in France. ECG sensor. Model number HWA09. Nice, let's boot it up. Ah, there's the charging cable. Very nice. Tucked away there. And that's it. So nice little pouch. Bonjour, set up. Awesome, sure. Okay, pretty easy to charge. A little magnet. We'll let this charge for a little bit. Oh, it's even in Italian. Ciao, set up. Step number one, you wanna to go to the Play Store, the App Store, and download the Withings Health Mate. I've already logged in and set up my account because I've had their watches before. Right at the bottom, just click Devices, Install Device, Watches, Scan Watch. Let's get started. Press the button on the side. Okay, so slight little, this thing, it's slightly magnetic, but it comes disconnected quite easily. There we go. I see setup. That was easy. Product detected, scan watch 04. Looking for scan watch. Bluetooth is on. Let's pair it. Yes. Pair your scan watch with your phone. Yes. Nice graphics. Three, two, five. Three, six, nine, OLED screen or LED screen, really nice and bright, even with all the glare that we're getting. Who's gonna be using this device? Me. Updating scan watch. All right, update's done. That only took about a minute. Are the hands on the watch all pointing up? Looks good, yes. Automatic time configuration. Are the watch display in the right time? Yep, 7.30. Next, scan watch is ready to use. Excellent. On which wrist? I'm gonna do left. This is how your scan watch should be worn. The watch should be tightened to your wrist a finger's width above your wrist bone. Okay, how to navigate, awesome. So we rotate the crown to select the different workouts and menu options, awesome. Activate notifications. So now it guides us through which notifications we want. So we want to enable notifications, incoming calls, yes, yes. Allow access, yes. Continue. Then we have to give permission to HealthMate, awesome. And then messages, yes. Applications, so we can go through and choose. 
Uh, I'm gonna say calendar for sure, yeah, and we'll do the other ones later. Take your first oxygen measurement, awesome. Take your first electrocardiogram, learn more about irregular heartbeat. Scan watch can monitor for irregular heartbeat. Well, that's good to know. Every 10 minutes, your device looks for irregular patterns in your heart rhythm. Start. Irregular heartbeat may indicate atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation occurs when the heart starts moving chaotically instead of pumping regularly. It can lead to serious complications if left untreated. ScanWatch cannot detect heart attacks and other medical conditions. If you're not feeling well, see a doctor. Get checked automatically every 10 minutes. Sure. Once this feature is activated, an irregular heartbeat scan is launched every 10 minutes without any input on your side. Well, that's cool. Activate now, receive alerts when episodes happen. Yes. Configure breathing disturbances. So a while back, this was not available and now it is. Awesome. Scan watch will automatically track your sleep better when you wear it to bed. Yes, start. Enhance sleep tracking with respiratory scans. Yes. Breathing disturbances can be dangerous if left undetected. Well, that's good to, know. good to know. And there's the small print. Schedule respiratory scans, set frequency. Automatically, yes. Be reminded before a respiratory scan. Done, simply wear it to bed. You can activate respiratory scans later in devices tab. Got it. Learn more about GPS workouts. Navigate to the workout. Next, press start. And uh, I'll do a workout with it later. Run with your phone. Done. Okay, set activity goals. See your progress on your wrist. Uh, you know, lately, I, I'm gonna say just 5,000 for now. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, da -da -da -da, configure breathing, we did that. Take your first oxygen, we'll do that finish later. All right. Continue discovering watch. Do you know what that is for? Cool. All right. So the last time we had a sleep score was back in March of last year. So I'm looking forward to see, I'm looking forward to see how the scan watch measures up. So it's at 34%. So it came pretty dead. I'm going to compare the data to this one, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, and also this one right here, the Apple Watch 6. It's been over an hour and I want to try it on and navigate and test it. Let's see what's going on with the watch. So it's been charging for a little over an hour, 83%, awesome. Now I did find something cool. And within the HealthMate app, if you open that up, right from that main menu, you can go to devices and it shows you what the battery percentage is. So anywhere within Bluetooth range, it lets you know. And I quickly figured out how to program alarms. So tomorrow, oh, okay. There's only three alarms. I also figured that out. So tomorrow I set a wake up alarm and it's kind of cool. You just kind of drag this to how early you want to wake up. So I'm going to wake up at 5.30 tomorrow. And then I did a smart wake up, which gives me, oh, okay. So you can drag that. So you can do zero minutes and you can give it a window of 23. I think I'll do a five minute window. Save. And then I even put on there, go swimming. And then that will show on the watch. Pretty cool. Let's tackle a myth. Pietro, have you ever heard it said that muscle weighs more than fat? Let's take a look at it together. Read more? Oh, well that's fun. Strictly speaking, one kilogram of muscle and one kilogram of fat are exactly the same weight. Well, that's good to know. I don't remember him having that before. I haven't decided which watch I'm gonna wear to bed tonight to compare it. So I like the band. I like that they cover that silicone and it's silicone, <laughs> the uh, stainless steel, and then the company logo is right there, Withings. Some people pronounce it Withings. I think it is actually Withings, so I apologize if I said it wrong. There's a sensor. Ooh, has a nice weight to it. That looks pretty good. 
So this is the 42 millimeter one for $299. Depending on your wrist size, mine is about a seven to a seven and a half. I like bigger watches, I must say, especially if you look at the Tick watch or the Galaxy watch, which is 45. So not as big as the Galaxy Watch 4, but it's not too small, I, I like it. So heart rate, 77, 75. So now if we click the button, we should be able to, yep, yeah, there's our menu. So zero floors, here's the EKG, SBO2, yeah, let's do that. Open HealthMate to activate, all right. There we go, continue discovering Take your first oxygen saturation, hemoglobin SpO2. Start, please review, what? So it has a whole bunch of contradictions and this is actually all in the manual. And I found something kind of hidden. It says here, important notes, the expected service life for a scan monitor is two years. Well, luckily this comes with a two year warranty. So that's a lot of fine print. I'm not reading all 64 pages of that. So we'll go back, except we're about to take you on your first blood oxygenation measurement. Put your hand on the watch. Oh, and then there's a countdown timer. Why do I have to put my hand on the watch? 94% below average. Hmm. Let's see what TickWatch says about that. 94. Okay. When in doubt, try one more. I would easily say that most people trust Apple. 98. Okay, let's definitely try this again. So the display is really easy to read. Put your hand on the watch. Okay, I, I, I moved too much, so I need to try it again. Stay still. Oh, I had three seconds left and I moved. Hang on, let's try this again. Okay, that one didn't work. It said inconclusive. Hmm, let's try it again. Put your hand on the watch. I think putting your hand on the watch helps press it down so there's no light refractions or light disturbances. That's my 10 cents. 15 seconds left. Wait for it. Wait for it. 96, normal. I'll take that. Okay, now let's do my first EKG. So we've done that, understood. Okay, take your first electrocardiogram. It's going to warn us. Okay, let's go, stay calm, don't talk, put your arm on a table and chair and relax. Okay, it's weird, it's telling me to open the app and I already did that. Ah, you have to tell it which state you're in. As you all know, I'm in Utah already. Confirm, agree to share my data, sure. Let's take your first ECG. So on the phone, it gives the countdown. All right, once reviewed, your re results will appear in the app. Heartbeat Health will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. So it looks like you don't get to see that right off the bat. Hmm, interesting. So it says right there, ECG waiting for approval. We have sent your results and requests for the ECG activation to Heartbeat Health. You won't be able to resend or alter measurements while waiting for approval. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. So we have health insights. Okay, okay, I'm gonna wear this around for an hour or so and then uh, come back. But so far, really easy to navigate. I really like that. I already gotten some steps and it counts floors. I'm excited to see how accurate that is. And then there's work, oh, there's breathe. I don't remember that. Let's try that. So I can do eight breaths per minute. All right. And relax. Inhale. There's a slight vibration. 
and finished. 71 beats per minute. And looks like that's all it's going to tell me. And then there's the clock. And this is what the alarms look like. Stopwatch, timer, back. Settings. So we have battery, 97%. Interesting because it said like 80 something earlier, but all right. Do not disturb, on, off, quick look, on, back. Okay, so now it's going to be a raise to wake. So that will time out. And there's the quick look. So that's going to reduce battery a little bit. And that's it. That's my first day. <laughs> the first six hours with the Withings Scan Watch. I'm gonna sleep with it tonight and then we can compare the data in a few days. And it's late. I hope you're getting more sleep than I did tonight. <laughs> Sorry about the ban there. Either I clicked the wrong button or there is a mistake in the warehouse. They sent the wrong size, it doesn't fit. So far, I like it. My first impressions, good. I like it a lot better than the steel. They've made changes. There's changes in the UI and it looks really nice. It feels faster and the screen is easier to read. I think they've increased the pixels. The one thing I either I can't find it or something I don't like yet, it doesn't have a setting for a do not disturb window. So if I normally go to bed at 9 p.m. and I don't wake up until 9 a.m. the next day because I get 12 hours of sleep. I wish. There's not a way to do that. So each night you have to quickly go into settings and then click the do not disturb. I, I There's got to be a setting somewhere. I'll, I'll keep looking. Maybe I'll have to read the manual. Whoa. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have a follow-up video on the Withings scan watch really soon and type those pithy comments down below. Good night.